Hi, this is Daniel Zane here. I'm um, just. <laughs> you know, this Allies of Humanity thing has just totally got me insane. It's got me worked out. It's, got, it's, it's giving me anxiety. It's giving me stress and all that, you know. Um, and um, it's got to the point that I have said what I could say. And the thing is, the rest is up to people to see through it or not see through it, etc., uh, etc. Et because um, the whole thing has just basically drained me. I've done a few videos about it, and it's. This this whole anti extraterrestrial thing has just gone beyond me to the point that I'm actually gone got ended up getting I'm getting frustrated and um now I'm stepping back because I just do not wish to be up here to be pushy. I have said what I had said and and now I'm just focusing on other things and myself to recover from this because if I focus too much attention on this my consciousness is going to drop this level uh, it's going to get lower because it's undergoing frustration at the moment and frustration can lead to me getting angry or pissed off but because I have started because of anxiety um, out of frustration I've actually started help self harming myself. Uh first of all, uh, to summarize the whole thing, recap over it, it is a um, misinformation campaign part of the uh, the government or the, the elite um, works very much like how religions work with the use of God and all that um, and the, the reason how I can see the, how I have evidence for the whole connection of it being uh, related to the uh, industrial mil military complex and all the um, Governments and all that, uh, agents, etc., etc., is um, the time when a G4S security chap came to my flat. That was actually a giveaway, which actually gave me more reason to st st uh, get out. But, but then I've also made a video which had three important facts why extraterrestrials won't exploit. Um, this planet and its resources, first of all, number one, um, they are capable of interstellar space, interstellar space travel, um, where the, the subcomponents of the flying saucer, uh, anti gravity energy, can be made into a free energy generator. Number two, they would be able to create life. Why would they exploit life forms such as human beings and all that when they can create it from scratch, which they have done, um, which is basically what this um, most of these with a hybrid program is, is basically still part of that, where things are being improved, upgraded, updated, so on and so forth. And then number three um, is um, yes, they are able to replicate matter, matter replicators, and so on and so forth. I have these three points, and basically, no one ever gave them, not many people gave them much thought. Uh, that video had been thumbed down by nine uh, to. Five, so um, the ratio is four to five. That 
And this is not giving me a rough con conclusion that the anti extraterrestrial hate rate is still pretty much strong. Um, there's also the whole uh, uh, the Italian agenda and all that crap as well out there. But there's allies of humanity who seems to be the most extremist anti extraterrestrial hate propaganda that has been basically vomited all over it cyberspace and um, I have had my protest now and if I had if I have to go further into it um, like I have it's only going to lower my consciousness because it's going to straight me even more um, yes I'm actually hurting uh, from it uh, because it's completely fascist uh, in a sense where they refer always bring up races 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 all the time so that uh, is basically uh, why it's fascist it's always going on about races we races they don't see the extraterrestrials like themselves. And they don't see the relationship of the extraterrestrials and themselves, and they do not accept uh, that extraterrestrials uh, created uh, life on this planet. Um, thus, therefore, they uh, disagree with the. Uh, Hybrid program and say that it's infiltration or raising. I don't know. I've forgotten what the word use. But anyway, <coughs> so I am now pulling back from this. I've had my say, and um, in the end, uh, the truth of the of the matter of fact will come out. The, 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 tr the truth always comes out. Um, actually, I'm actually quite surprised that this group has gone as far as um, getting publicity from um, Project Camelot and all that, which covers up the whole ufology, extraterrestrials, and all that, and um, um, as well as uh, leaked. Uh, Reverse engineered technology, uh, which Project Camelot covers, and this I can see is a government strategy to cover up or to prevent the leaks um, of the industrial military complex on the technology that they have under the carpet, which needs to go out to the people of the planet. That is true empowerment, that's true freedom. Where this group says they support freedom, people and all that, but they don't go out their way to, um, for example, the rallying movement. They have the clone aid thing, they have the clear aid thing, um, which are all charitable things for the advancement. Of humanity. Allies of humanity doesn't have any charitable advancement of humanity. They basically just get people together, make them aggro and anti extraterrestrial and start blaming everything on the extraterrestrials. All the industrial military complex uh, stuff and things like that. They start blaming the extraterrestrials, but meanwhile, it's actually the minority elite uh, that is the true blame. And the economy and money system. Actually, money is the reason why the elite are the way they are. Uh, why there is elite is because of money and the economy. And they just fail to understand this. Um, 
what I've also got to mention as well is um, now um, I have a few logical I've given a few logical thinking on the um, intervention of the extraterrestrials in the home star people. Um, now, since it's been observed that there's a strong anti extraterrestrial group called the Allies of Humanity, which is even worse than the um, more extreme than the um, the Ike type, so the David Ike followers. Um, where the David Ike followers tend to just focus on <laughs> people with scaly skins, <laughs> reptilians, uh, and then some people just are racist as well towards people with grey skins. Uh, so, um, which most often sometimes uh, I don't know, really. And um, where the allies of humanity tends to be anti extraterrestrial full stop. And um, because they bring the whole uh, God thing into it, uh, they say they are open to different uh, um, what you call it, uh, faiths, uh, religions, and all that, and information. And yet they uh, they say they're open to religions, right? And they're, but they're not uh, acceptable to um, different other people's spiritualities um, and uh, Raelian people. Um, the Brilliant people, Galactic Federation, all that. They don't accept that, which is rather two faced in a sense, where they claim they accept different um, forms of uh, beliefs, faiths, religion, spiritualities, etc., etc., and even claim that they accept individual. Spiritual actually, which is a combination of all of, of all of that. Um, they don't, they don't, and um, which has also uh, got me the opinion as uh, since they've got the God factor in there, they can easily make an excuse um, to act upon the crimes against humanity um, on this planet and beyond this planet. Um, because um, they say, oh, uh, it's God's will, or God told me this. Meanwhile, it's actually in the imagination. And this is actually scientifically proven. And they even um, extract, I managed to extract this information out of them. When um, I asked them, what is God? And they uh, basically explain um, it's from consciousness and all that. And uh, that's what they call it. And I said, why do you call something, call it God, when you know, when you're supposed to know what it is? Um, because there's different perceptions of God. God is Prometheism, pantheism, monotheism, diatheism, different types of theisms, um, which are all um, people or, or 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 groups that actually believe or agree to use the core stuff God and so you got all these different perceptions and this is a whole confusing factor and they use that uh, that is very much part of them because the uh, the new message from God thing is relate to the um, the allies of humanity thing. And, um, and that is to actually um, uh, get people uh, keep the whole God thing in there. And um, my logical conclusion on this is that um, it could be a backup plan for the whole um, Vatican thing. Um, that is a possibility as well. Uh, that's what my logic is. Because um, uh, 
that these people can't accept the fact that there is no God and God is just a word or a meme to name specific things um, thus preventing people to uh, think and um, in a word think and be inquisitive to what under the word what what it actually is that is being called God. So that is um a big problem. And then um uh you know people are free to call things God if it's their own uh, personal stuff or whatever but when it's a group thing, a religious thing, it is and dogma and all that gets involved, it can be it can lead towards um, problems uh, like what's happened in the past with religions and things like that when they first kicked off and all that. Um, and even still uh, today the, the 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 major effects of the three musketeers that is uh, Judaism, Islam, Christianity, um, and how they affect people's well-being, the rights, especially the LGBT and I, often get discriminated uh, negatively and things like that because it's all part of this whole thing where. Uh, where it goes to the same as nature loves diversity, but um, uh, society hates it. Uh, this is a kind of attribute uh, uh, allows of humanity to tends to grasp onto. So anything foreign, different, um, unique. Is frowned on um, in a sense. So yeah, as well, I've received verbal abuse from them. They deny it. I've actually swore a bit in my response because I got so frustrated, but it never came up, lash up, and impressively what they might have said. Um, they'll use caps locks and all that. But earlier on, I was rarely. Uh, as you can see in my previous videos, I was rather upset. And that is evident in, in itself. Now, um, back to the topic of uh, my logical um, thoughts on um, extraterrestrial intervention. Now, now that um, there is a strong um, anti extraterrestrial group. Up there to the allies of humanity, and actually spreading that, actually growing, which is the one of the things which actually got me into a panic, anxiety attack, knowing myself uh, that I consider myself as a hybrid because I have more uh, star people genes than most, which are, which everybody is actually a hybrid. Uh, but they deny this that um, that extraterrestrials created life here, and then when humanity had been um, designed, the extraterrestrials took a part of their code and mixed it in with the, the life that they created from scratch. Um, all the other creatures, uh, most of the other, um, in general, I'd say most, not all, but most um, of the, uh, the living things were uh, designed from scratch, like you know what they're actually doing, and then the laboratory is completely separate. Um, and then um, without actually having genetic codes from other fauna and flora, um, uh, and then blended in. I've actually noticed that that it that actually um, has happened with some of the um, fauna and flora, like with the um, the extraterrestrials giving their um, 
genetic code with the, the, uh, the design of this code in order to create human beings. Um, and even though there were a bit of a down, there was a bit of a downgrade that my star mother told me about as well. People were originally the master died in order to improve on the aesthetics that uh, m most of the, um, the life on this planet uh, is male and female um, that, uh, it was split um, which I think was a bit of a and I agree with my star mother um, it's a bit of a um, a burglary uh, some people don't agree with me on that fair enough you entitled to your own opinion and so on just don't have it against me. Uh, it's me and my star mother's opinion. And, um, and the extraterrestrials uh, you know, debate amongst themselves as well. So, so there we have it. Um, oh yeah, going to the point is, um, okay, now that you've been going back to this point, I'll go with and now that um, there's a very strong um, anti extraterrestrial propaganda group going out there, it's not just that, it's the media as well, Hollywood, um, and a few other groups and all that. Now, since, since um, I estimate as well that roughly about 30 years, everyone's all like. Um, with the radiation uh, spillage from Fukushima, have at least got 30 years to live on this planet before all life kind of gets irradiated. Um, it, uh, I'm a bit concerned with all this, and the only solution is extraterrestrial intervention. Because the governments and all that, they're not doing anything. They're just too involved with the economy, the money, uh, wars, and all stupid things. And um, they're all involved with all these stupid things. And there are people who try to make a difference. Um, Blackwing against us, and then people who um, actually want the extraterrestrials to help uh, with things now are competing against those who, have, who don't want to, who project hatred, and so on and so forth. So now you've got a paradox situation. And um, it gets very difficult to actually logically estimate what the outcome of this would be. Um, and then you also got that um, lost card thing, um, where, and I think this, and I strongly feel that this ally of, of humanity. Is linked to that, like with the terrorists, uh, with the Islam, 9/11, blah blah blah, all that. Well, basically, this is what the allies of humanity kind of think. It's an instigator or a catalyst, I feel, for this um, false flag uh, implementation, just to extend the industrial military complex, just. Just to make life shit for everybody. Um, because look at look at all the wars and all that. It's all all for all about money, money, economy, economy, money, and all that. And um, that's how I can see through this. Uh, Link to that. False card, uh, lost card thing that Kara Rosen mentioned about. 
and um, you got that. And there's people that actually want genuine, real extraterrestrials, you know, star people to actually help um, fix the planet, make the place a heaven, beautiful place. There's no money, no wars, um, and people get along with each other. And um, there's these two opposing sets of humanity at the moment in regards to extra What would be the logical outcome? Depending on the ratio, as you said, the extraterrestrials will intervene in and help. But would they get attacked by those that expose hatred? You know, how would what would happen with that? Or the people who show love, compassion. And love the extraterrestrial um, friends and family, whether they met them or not. Why would they have to suffer the consequence of this? Those that project hatred. Why would they? The innocent suffer because of those people, and all life on this planet suffer because of those people. Why would that happen? I've, I've log logically thinking since extraterrestrials follow cosmic consciousness, which is love. Empathy, compassion, and understanding. They would actually look at this. And logically speaking, they would actually airlift uh, the people who show love, empathy, compassion, respect, uh, and understanding uh, towards uh, the star family and their star friends. And then let the ones who focus on hate, fascism, and all that sort it out between themselves. Which actually, they might even drown it in their self suicide. And, um, and then the Nelson set will put all the good people back. Now, that is just a logical um, uh, uh, look at the whole thing. Um, because it's, at the moment, I've observed it to be a paradox. You know, people who show love, understanding, you know, and all that. And you those who are just fascist as hell, racist as hell. Anything that's extraterrestrial, exterminate. Um, you got those two types of people. Now, why should those assholes spoil it for people like me and others like myself? Why should they spoil it? Why should we suffer? Because of that. Um, since I find life hard on this planet, I find it really hard. And um, knowing that I have a hybrid, I know that everybody's hybrid. But I got the label because I have a bit more of the terrestrial um, genes and shit. So, which is part of the upgrade, um, 
as some of my friends, other hardware friends, mentioned it's an update. And and I kind of agree with them as well that that you know, all the updated people as well. If they're not if they're getting rejected by those who haven't been updated, um, they're probably the, they're not they're not fitting in. And actually because of that I think it will probably be humane for our extraterrestrial family to take us in. Because living here is just suffering. It's pain. And it's much more difficult for people like ourselves who are hybrids. We can't, we don't know how to work with the monitor system. We don't. We battle. We need help with it. We need like a friend or something. Because we know how to create and be creative in it. Which is, it comes to us naturally. Um, but as soon as we start working with money and all that, it, it's like short, it's like some people can't do maths and some people can't draw. Well, with us, it's, we can't work with money and hierarchies and bureaucracies and all that. Because it's just, we look at it and we say, where's the sense in all of this? Where is it? It makes no sense. I don't understand it. I've tried to do it, but uh, it just gives me an anxiety that it's like, oh. And I'm, and I'm not the only one that has anxiety attacks like it. I've spoken, I've met with actual hybrids like this. And they have the same thing. They have the same thing. So, which is actually evident in itself. And, um, I think, I honestly think it would be good, better for us if, if we just picked up on the loose of those. those uh, the upgrade thing is not working in a sense with humanity as a whole. Maybe it is. Maybe it will provide new ideas, change, to understand. That's what's, what is the extraterrestrial creator have in mind. Maybe the insight, the creativity. It's just an assumption. An idea on how I would explain the whole thing because living here, life is just damn bloody confusing. It's confusing. You, you get information, you get information, with truth lies, truth lies, truth lies, truth lies, and to sense and feel is sometimes it's a challenge. And I know for a fact. My gut feeling, everything about the allies of humanity it just spells out L I E. It's even in the name when you knock out the one L A in the house. Lies of humanity. So I'll finish off there. Much love.